Thanks for tuning in for another Essential RC Drive Test and today quite an exciting one because we are looking at the new Fifish V6 underwater drone from our new friends at QYC. So what is this exactly? Well basically it's a compact sized omnidirectional ROV for exploration underwater. It is equipped with a 4K Ultra HD camera that can take video and stills. But importantly, that camera is optimized for low light conditions that you're gonna encounter when you're exploring underwater. It live streams 1080p HD video to the Fifish Smart Controller. And that controller gives you three options for the way that you can drive the Fifish V6 underwater. The first of those is suitable for beginners. It's called Attitude Auto Mode, where you get uh, the a capability to roll locked out and that makes it easier for a beginner to pilot it for the first time. The second mode is called sport mode and that gives you full control over all six degrees of freedom. The third mode is called combination mode and that allows you to wear a set of VR goggles and control the three degrees of freedom namely uh, roll, pitch and yaw while you still use the controller to move forwards and backwards and side to side and in depth up and down. So it'll be really interesting to try that out. You can also download uh, the Fifish app and that helps you in editing your captured footage afterwards, uh, in restoring color onto that footage if you want to do that, laying a soundtrack on top and also sharing to the web. But let's not hang around, let's take the components out of the box, let's see what we get. Okay, so that's all the components out of the box. Let's look at the most important one, and that is the Fifish V6 underwater drone itself. So here it is. Um, it weighs 3.9 kg, uh, which is quite heavy, but that doesn't really matter because it's gonna be flying underwater, not in the air. It has these six thrusters, uh, four of them vectored, two for horizontal movement, and that gives you the control over those six degrees of freedom I was talking about. Depth rating is an amazing 100 meters. Try and get your head around that, 100 meters. The uh, kit and training that you would need to dive, to scuba dive to 100 meters is, is you know, there's quite a lot involved in doing that and being aware of the dangers of scuba diving. Um, you know, you have to have significant training to do that um, and no, uh, about the dangers of the bends and uh, needing to decompress and all that type of stuff. Well, this eliminates that. You can go on these adventures and you can fly it in first person view or in that VR mode and see what that camera at the front is seeing in HD resolution. So quite amazing. So 100 meters depth uh, and you can go exploring for a maximum dive time of four hours. Four hours, uh, that's that's a, that's a long time, I think, but that probably accounts for the weight of this because a good proportion of the weight is the onboard battery, which is 9,000 milliamp hours. And I use LiPo lithium polymer batteries a lot, so 9,000 for flying. So uh, 9,000 milliamp hour um, pack is, is large and that would account for the, for the weight. The other thing to point out at the, front, at the front, you can see on either side of the camera, you have this LED light system and that is rated at 4,000 lumens, which is really uh, important because as you get deeper and deeper, you're gonna get less natural light penetrating through the water and giving you the, the, you know, the best light to be able to see what uh, that camera is seeing underwater. So when you turn on that light, it's gonna make lighting conditions a lot better underwater, but the onboard video camera has, you can configure it in a lot of different ways as you can do, like my, the production camera I'm using for filming this, so you can adjust the uh, you can adjust the shutter speed and the aperture. Uh, the field of view is uh, quite wide, 166 degrees, and it has quite a large Sony CMOS sensor. So we should get some fantastic video. Uh, what else? This is the Firefish Smart Controller. You to fly in first person view mode. You put your smart camera here, smartphone, sorry, um, with the app 
uh, installed on it and then you use the joysticks and the the rollers behind to control those six degrees of freedom when you are piloting it and uh, you have an on off button you have a lock button which is quite important for safety I think so that you can turn off and deactivate the drive system and then there's a depth lock button as well so you get to your required depth maybe and then you lock so you don't have to think about that um, and then you can just move around at that depth. Uh, these are the VR goggles so you can see the uh, the lenses that you look through and then you put your smartphone in the mount in the back with the app installed on it so that you can uh, fly in uh, pilot in VR mode. The other obvious thing to point out with this is that it is a tethered underwater drone. It is a remote controlled drone. It is not radio controlled um, for obvious reasons because uh, radio waves would not penetrate water to any great depth. So you basically plug this back in into the back of the Fifish V6. Uh, it streams the video via, via this um, cable and also you use the cable to reel back in the Five Fish V6 underwater drone when you are done with your uh, underwater adventure. So there we go, that's, uh, that's all the components that you get in the box. We're gonna charge everything up and then we're gonna go on our first underwater adventure. Mm -hmm.